Insecurity and conflict are on the rise. Human activity is putting the natural environment under more stress than ever before. It is an increasingly toxic mix. The number of armed conflicts around the world has doubled in just 10 years. So has the number of people displaced from their homes. Spending on arms is increasing, global hunger is growing. At the same time, environmental crises are adding new risks to security. Drought leads to failed crops, floods force people from their homes, ocean ecosystems die. The twin security and environmental crises are creating new, complex risks and compromising our prospects of achieving and maintaining peace. The result? A new era of risk. Unless we take action, the situation will only get worse. There is a way forward. It is possible to build the foundations of a new security, and it begins by acknowledging that we need to tackle the twin crises together. We must address the root causes of the environmental crisis, cutting carbon emissions quickly, reducing pollution, restoring forests, protecting nature. However, solutions meant to address environmental issues can have unintended negative impacts on peace and security. We must enable a green transition that is both just and peaceful, with policies that avoid sparking new opposition or conflicts. Governments need to switch spending from things that fuel the twin crises, such as building their armed forces and fossil fuel subsidies, to activities that restore the environment and build peace. Environmental integrity and peace are inextricably linked. By addressing them together, we ensure that measures aimed at solving one problem don't make the other worse. Ideally, they would create positive synergies. The Environment of Peace Report explores options for building peace in this new era of risk based on principles of urgency, fairness and far-sightedness. It makes recommendations that everyone can use, from the United Nations to governments, from financial institutions to civil society. The need is urgent and time is running out. Find out how we can build an environment of peace.